have joining us, and, and if you all looked at the last episode, it was just a, a remarkable story of self-care and determination. And Danny is here today to continue us um, through her, the rest of her journey and, uh, and let us know how she used self-care and determination to be very, very successful. She went from uh, weighing 310 pounds and losing 135 pounds in a healthy manner in a year's time. Yes. So we're going we're gonna to delve into her story. And Danny, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me back. Appreciate you. Appreciate no you being here. And also, just wanted to mention, though, Danny is one of our sponsors as well. Um, she has a heart to help people and to help us in our, um, in our efforts to get this eradicating of domestic violence get it going and, and and so I thank you for that as well no problem yeah so um, we stopped off uh, last time um, just talking about uh, some of the challenges along your journey yeah and we uh, we didn't get into the part about the success part of it now. right okay um, so it started last year uh, September 16th to be exact September 16th 2018 was the date that I decided that I was going to take my health back and just just go full-fledged with it and it's funny the way it came to me um, by my closest friend Jay we were talking one day and she said to me you know when you put your mind to something you just do it um, about 10 years ago I stopped uh, relaxing my hair and I just let my natural hair grow out mm -hmm. and then I stopped getting acrylic nails because I just felt like it wasn't healthy for me and so she made reference to that she said once you decided to stop uh, relaxing your hair you never went back and once you decided to do this with your nails you never went back and it just got me to thinking I was like well if I can do that with my hair and with my nails why can't I do it for my health mm. just with oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, why couldn't I do that with my health and with my body and just to be able to feel better about myself um, health-wise and physically mm -hmm. and so when she said that it was it like a light bulb came on because I've tried different methods to lose weight before mm -hmm. and I just never stuck with it and it, it wasn't the the methods problem it was my problem mm -hmm. because I That's never important. dedicated myself to that I never dedicated myself to just trying to be more healthy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so um, what I did she had told me about keto um, and so I started doing some research on what ketosis is, um, and it's a, for me, it works. Okay. And so I made that decision that when we came back from my birthday trip um, in Myrtle Beach, mm -hmm. that I was definitely going to try this. Okay. And so there was something that happened on my birthday trip that just, even though I had already decided that I was going to do it, it mm -hmm. just really enforced that I had to do it. Okay. Um, once we got down to Myrtle Beach, we were driving and I saw a sign for a helicopter ride. Okay. And I was like, oh, that's something I want to do for my birthday. I've never been on a helicopter. Let's do this on my birthday. Mm -hmm. So the day of my birthday, we went to where they had the booth and we were going to get the tickets. Mm -hmm. And when I looked, I saw that I exceeded the weight limit to get on the helicopter. Oh, wow. And it hurt wow. my feelings to the core. And I didn't even tell my friends at that time because at that point they didn't know how much I weighed. Okay. And so okay. when I saw, I think it said like 295, and I was like, I can't even get on this. Oh, wow. Okay. So it, okay. it just it hit me. It was like, there's something that I really want to do mm -hmm. in my life that I can't that because of my weight. Mm -hmm. And so that just really, that's what solidified it for me. Mm -hmm. That was, I said, when I go back home, that's it. I was like, I can't. I can't mm -hmm. do this anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so, like I said, September 16th, that was the day we got back home. I did a lot of research, and I started doing my meal preps. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I still, I, for me, I have to document what I eat. I, just because of I know how I am, mm -hmm. and actually I've learned how I am because apparently I didn't know it before. That's why right. I couldn't stick with something before. Awareness. Right. Yes. Um, I know that this is it. It's sustainable for me, mm -hmm. and it's something that I know that I have to do. Mm -hmm. So there, there was mm -hmm. a couple of points that you brought out that I just want to emphasize on. You said that um, there was a wake up call, and, and oftentimes, and, and we relate things back to domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, there is a wake up call. Right. There, there is a there's a point when there's just a time when you say, you know, there 
has got to be a better way. Exactly. There has got to be a better way. So you said that, and something that I applaud you for, um, you said you're, that you made a decision. You made a conscious decision. Yes. And you said, okay. And then the journaling. Yes. Mapping it out and journaling it. It mm -hmm. is so important that, you know, we're all into this technology age right. where we're typing and texting, but it is so important that we write it down. Yes. It does something to us. It connects to our brain. Exactly. And we just, you know, we start to write it down, and then it's like an accountability partner for us, if you will. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And, so, and, and, and as you tell, um, as you talk a little bit more, and I thank you for sharing the helicopter story. That's no brave. Problem. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That was <laughs> something That's that really I never brave. wanted to share, but yeah. if it can help somebody, then mm -hmm. why not? Oh, it will. Yeah. It definitely will. Yeah. Um, can you, I mean, as you continue, can you share a little bit more about what the keto method mm -hmm. is? Yeah. Um, so keto is low carb, high fat. So for everybody, it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. I did speak with my doctor prior to starting. Actually, I had been on for maybe about two or three weeks and okay. I was going for my annual physical. And I spoke with her about it and mm -hmm. she let me know since I didn't have high cholesterol mm -hmm. um, and that overall I was in decent health that I would be okay to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and she did also mention at that point, she said, after you get three or four weeks into it, mm -hmm. you're probably going to start to get a little bored. So she told me about intermittent fasting, okay. which I do that um, two times a week. Mm -hmm. And then I have a day where I carb up once every eight days. Okay. And so with the intermittent fasting, I do between 16 and 20 hours of no food. Okay. And at first, when, um, <laughs> when I first did it, and she mentioned on those days to eat 500 calories or less, I said, mm. <laughs> She's trying to kill me. I was like, this is not going to work. But it's funny, once you start doing it, you're really not hungry. Like the first day, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, the first day was a struggle. Mm -hmm. um, the first few days of starting keto was a struggle because you're basically taking something from your body that you, you're used to eating. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. I was yeah. I was a carboholic. Mm -hmm. So bread, pasta, sugar, mm. processed foods, mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. And when I stopped, it was like, okay, day three or four, I was mm -hmm. mad at everybody. Oh, I yeah. hated everything. Mm -hmm. It was just, it was rough. Yeah, your body goes through a, and, and I talk to people about that um, in the um, in the herbal world, in, mm -hmm. the, uh, in the naturopathic world, your body goes through, uh, it goes through a, a healing crisis, it goes through exactly. um, a, a, a cleaning to, um, crisis mm -hmm. because you're, you're stirring up toxins that kind of, we don't understand that toxins actually hide in our fat cells. Okay. Because yeah. if we were to dump all of the toxins, because you were doing a cleanse, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. if we were to dump all those toxins all at one time, yeah. it would kill us. Yeah. So our bodies are so smart that they actually keep us from killing ourselves even right. when we're turning around, do, doing the right thing after yeah. all these years of not doing the right thing. Exactly. So what you described, you know, and I, I try to tell people that you're going to go through this, 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 and it's a crisis, mm -hmm. but you have to, you have to manage it. And yeah. You, it made you smart about your body. Yes. I, I'm hearing you say, yes. it made me smart about myself. Yes. And I understand that now, okay, and you, and I love you, you described it so well when you said, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I was angry with everybody. Don't don't even angry. call me right now. <laughs> right. I'm angry. angry. I'm going through this withdrawal. <laughs> it's like in yeah. um in the movie Ray, mm -hmm. when uh when he went to yeah. he did that and it was like, well, let me give you some you know painkillers. Right. He was like, no, no. Just but all those things that he went through, people don't understand that food yeah. is like that as well. It is. It's and yeah. it's an addiction. It, it, it is, is definitely an addiction. It definitely is. So go ahead. I just yeah. get excited about your story because I'm looking at the results and God, she is radiant Thank and just you. beautiful. And I appreciate you sharing that with us. No problem. A lot of people see your glory, but they don't see your story. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. Thank you so much Thank for sharing you. that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you go ahead. <laughs> Hold my excitement down, but I do get excited. It's fine. <laughs> yes. But it, it and, I, and like what you just said, I had to learn to listen to my body mm -hmm. because I always thought I was hungry. Mm -hmm. I always thought I was hungry. So maybe in, it was maybe day four or five after I started to not be so angry about everything, mm -hmm. I had lunch. And like in the beginning, you eat a lot because your your body is still getting used to that. So I had mm -hmm. lunch and maybe less than an hour later, I was like, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. And I had to ask myself, Danielle, are you really hungry or are you bored? Mm, that's and good. it turns out I was bored. I was like, so start doing something. So mm -hmm. what I had to do during that time, because it was 
September when I started. So it was starting to become fall. And so it's a little chilly outside. You're not doing so much stuff outside. Mm -hmm. And so I had to find things to do inside to keep myself occupied. Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't sitting in front of the TV because most of the times when I sat in front of the TV, I was snacking. Absolutely. So yeah. it was like, I have to find something. Let me be creative or try to be creative. Or mm -hmm. So I got some of those um, adult coloring books. Mm, okay. And they, they're so, they're the ones, they're like henna inspired and so they're very detailed. So I had mm. to focus on doing that. Right. And so then that took my mind off of, oh, I want to go get something to eat. Right, right. And See, so yeah. it, it came to that point of learning, you know, to listen to my body and learn what my body needed. Mm -hmm. um, whether it be water or exercise or just to rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, to this day, I'm still... You know, it's it's still, it's not a struggle struggle like mm -hmm. it was, but sometimes I do find myself just sitting there like, oh, let me get, even though it's it's something that is good for me, I'm like, but why am I eating this? Right. Am I just eating See? it just because it's food and it's here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I have to have those. It's really important for me to have self-talk. That is important. We, we talk about self-care and self-determination, mm -hmm. but self-talk is so important. What yes. am I telling myself? Yes. What am I telling myself to combat mm -hmm. all of the negative things that are coming at me all the time? Right. What am I talking to myself about? And that's, yes. that's You know, they talked about people saying, you know, oh, you're talking to yourself, you're crazy or whatever. No. Say, no, you're actually <laughs> smart. Exactly. <laughs> you're actually healthy when yes. you're talking to yourself. Those conversations are so important. Yes. So yeah. important. Yeah. 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 So also in the beginning, I really couldn't exercise mm -hmm. because of all the weight that I had. I think I mentioned in our last uh, mm -hmm. conversation about how my knees hurt and how my feet hurt and how mm -hmm. my back hurt. So going to the gym was not fun. Right. It was not fun. It mm -hmm. was just, it was a chore. It was a struggle. It mm -hmm. was, okay, now I got to get up and go to the gym. And right. So I would go forcing myself to go because I was like, this is the only way that this is going to work. I know diet and exercise are important. Absolutely. So I started, you know, just on the bike because I had a knee injury. So it would help me, you know, when I was stretching out my knees. Mm -hmm. So I started on the bike maybe 30 minutes, three times a week, and then built up to doing the treadmill, then got back um, to the Stairmaster, which I still hate, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> so it just became, it's now a way of life. Once okay. I was able to, to go into the gym mm -hmm. and actually work out, mm -hmm. now I really love it. It's, wow. that's yeah. what I love to do now. That's one of my hobbies, mm -hmm. which I never thought I would say. <laughs> and see, I love the way that you've taken us through your journey as far as, you know, um, you know, where you started out, you know, even some of the domestic violence mm -hmm. um, that you went through, mm -hmm. and then being able to now say, okay, I went through it, I, you know, I did, I wrote a journal, I, yeah. I did, this is my journey, right. and now looking on this side of you mm -hmm. and saying, okay, wow, now I'm, all these positive things, you know, being able to go to the gym now yeah. and loving to go to the gym, yeah. this is all a part about loving yourself. Exactly. When you start taking your power back mm -hmm. and you start, you know, realizing that, you know, God thought so much of us that he created created us so unique with our yes. own fingerprint yes. and so we have something powerful to contribute right. and so um, we're going to keep on talking and okay. we're going to keep on um, unfolding your story and unfolding the you know just the beautiful um, milestones that you the things that you've accomplished you know we're going to yes. talk about your modeling yes. and okay. so we're going to we're going to we're going to we're going to get in there all so right. I thank right. you so much for being here thank I appreciate you, you. Thank and you. thank you all for watching